Di ba po ata kayo naka-stream? Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ayan na pala. Ay, sorry naman. Ayan na. Okay. So, we're live. Uh, okay. Ay na. Alright. So, um, viruses are unique because they lack energy. The general structure is that they, it's basically simple. It has a capsid and a nuclear, uh, a nuclear material. That's basically it. Okay. The genetic material can either be DNA or RNA, but never both. And replication occurs only when the virus hijacks the host cell. Okay? Open and close parenthesis. Hijacks. Because what it does is parang pinipirata niya yung, parang pinipirata niya yung host cell. Okay? Now, the structures of noteworth is important for you guys to remember. The whole thing is collectively known as a nucleocapsid. The capsid is contain uh, is uh, is uh, the capsid contains a protein coat of the virus, the protein coat of the virus, and the nucleic acid genome, which is basically the genetic material needed for a virus to do uh, to do viral replication. Okay, so without it, virus is nothing. Okay, so essentially, it is not an organism. It's more or less a combination of proteins and nucleic acids. That just so happens to replicate and do um, do some sort of disorder, do, do some hijacking in the host cells. Okay, so union. There's still a debate between between biologists and virologists about the about the actual status of um, a virus. Is it is it really a living organism or is it just an an infectious particle? Okay, so. Um, let's not go into the debate about that one because that is going to take a long. Uh, that's going to do increase our le the length of the discussion for quite some time. Let's move on to the next one. Now, collectively, the whole viral structure is known as a virion. Okay, the whole nucleocapsid that we're talking about that is considered as a virion. It's known as a viral particle. Other name, other terms that may apply would be uh, would be infectious particle. Okay, and the shape of it varies and it can be assembled icosahedrally or spherically okay viral okay this is just a meme that i show that i saw on facebook i do not remember the person who created it but thanks to but let's give a little bit of a shout out to that person who posted this meme okay if i can't uh if i can coat myself with this protein i'll never find me They'll never find me. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's the first time I read that meme. Anyway, let's move on to the term about the subunits of the viral capsid. What term is used about the individual subunits of the viral capsid? Individual subunits is known as the capsomeres. So let's go back to that particular, uh, that particular meme. So those small blue dots is known as a capsomere. Okay? Clear? So in an icosahedral one, it could be arranged in that particular order also. Imagine those sides, those the, the side of that yellow ones as circular blobs. Okay? That could that could be considered as a viral capsid as well. Or capsomere. These capsomeres assemble and give rise to the shape of the virus. Okay? That is the reason why it's uh, that's the reason why it's a, it's a single unit. That's one single unit. Okay? So clear? Clear kayo Jan? That little blue one, or one side of this icosahedral, of this icosahedron, um, icosahedron um, geometric structure, is considered as a capsomere. All right? Clear? Clear so far? Do you still understand the different the terminologies that I'm giving you? Now let's move on to the lipid layer. The lipid layer is the one that covers the nucleocapsid, and it's known as the envelope. Okay. And let's talk, let's talk about the nucleic acids. Okay, so that's the envelope, the lipid layer that covers the nucleocapsid. So let's go back again to the structure, the basic structure that I have here. So inside this uh, icosahedral molecule, or sorry, inside this particular molecule, this strand here, there's going to be an, a lipid layer envelope before you reach the capsid, the outer capsid. Okay, that's known as an envelope. Clear what an envelope is? Shall we move on? Okay. Now, a virus has two types of nucleic acid genomes. Okay? So from the name from the term itself, nucleic acids, it's basically either RNA or DNA. 
the genome, the whole su structure. Okay? So, maikli lang ang structure nila, ang whole genetic material nila. Is, it, could be read, it could be read by an assayer probably within 30 minutes. Unlike the human gene genome, eh, we are composed of a lot of cells, right? Different, with different specializations. So, ibig sabihin, mahaba ang genome natin. But for this one, the blueprint, or in this case, the genetic material, or genome, is as short is as short as this can be. A whole analyzer can measure it within a couple of minutes to an hour, okay? And give you a printout of what exactly is the composition of the genome. Now, there are three types of RNA viruses. You could um, you could have RNA stranded, a positive stranded RNA virus. It could be a negative stranded RNA virus or the RNA of a retrovirus. Okay, RNA of retrovirus. Now, let's explain first what is a positive-stranded, negative-stranded RNA virus. A positive-stranded RNA virus can be translated immediately, while a negative-stranded RNA virus requires transcription before it can create replicate copies of the virion. Okay, clear? What about retroviruses, sir? Ano kaguluhan niyan? So, pag retrovirus from the term itself, babalik, retro. Ibig sabihin... It will turn into DNA before making it, before making copies of itself. Okay, it needs to be translated to DNA first. Okay, so clear, clear on that one. Positive and negative stranded RNA viruses. Clear, clear, clear. Walang problema jan. Mabilis ang usapan no? Now, what are the enzymes required by RNA viruses for replication? We have RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Required by negative stranded RNA viruses. Reverse transcriptase is required by uh, retroviruses. You might have heard reverse transcriptase. I think common na common ngayon yan, yung RT PCR natin. That is the same type of technology that is utilized by COVID testing. Okay? So please be mindful that RNA transcriptase is required by RNA viruses to be converted to DNA before it will be replicated into another virion. Okay? So clear? Clear tayo doon. Wala tayong problema. What about RNA polymerase? It's required by RNA viruses to continue by negative stranded RNA virus. So negative, kaya kang may open and close parenthesis para hindi kayo malito. Okay? Now, in terms of positive and uh, negative RNA strands of the genome, what is the difference between DNA viruses from RNA viruses? Well, um, positive R the positive strand of DNA viruses serves as a template for RNA transcription. While mRNA transcription, while negative strand of DNA RNAs, uh, DNA serve as a partner for the positive strand of DNA during transcription. This is known as the ignored strand. Bakit siya ignored strand? Kasi kailangan, kakabit lang naman siya dun sa kakampi niya. Imagine DNA, you've seen the helical structure, the double helix structure. So the negative strand is the partner lang. So, pag nakita niya yung partner niya dun sa host cell, dun siya kakapit. And then, dadaan yung transcriptor natin, yung magta-translate ng data, and then, the protein will be produced. Do you, you see what I'm talking about? That's the reason why it's called as a, that is why, that's the reason why it's called the, the ignored strand. Okay? Clear? Clear pa? Nakakasunod pa ba tayo? Parang molecular biology na yung pinag-uusapan natin, sir. Um, actually, yes. You cannot understand virology fully if you do not have a if you do not have a complete understanding of molecular biology because everything that we're talking about happens in the molecular level. Okay, that's the why I keep on asking you guys if you have questions, please ask them now because we have limited time. I'm I'm giving you guys enough time to ask your questions. Okay, all right. So if you have questions, just raise your hand or message Mark Segi in your group chats. He will interrupt me. He's the only one who, who is allowed to interrupt me. Okay? All right. Now, examples of DNA viruses. Sir, ang dami nun. Wag kang mag-alala, Amanda. I got you, girl. Wag kang mag-alala. May mnemonic tayo dyan. Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> P. Diba? Ganon. O, oh, diba? Oh, para hindi ka mahirapan. Ano yung happy na yan? Herpes viridae, hepatovirus, adenovirus, polymyxovirus, papilloma virus, parvovirus, pox virus. Bakit may PY, sir? Kasi yung polyoma virus, para hindi kayo malito. Okay? Polyoma, papilloma. Okay? Happy family. Diba? 2H, 1A, 4Ps. Diba? Para hindi kayo, mali para hindi kayo makalimot. 
happy family. Don't worry, you don't need to write it. You will get a copy of it as soon as we're done with our lecture. Now, we're talking about the happy family. What about the en the env enveloped ones? So there's three ones. Hehe po. <laughs> so ano yun? Hepad na viride. Okay? Hepad na viride. Adeno, uh, her herpes viride. Or herpes viruses. And of course, the pox viruses. Hehe po. Diba? Ganyan. Hehe po. Ganyan. Kaya may smiley face. Para hindi makalimutan ni Amanda. Amanda. Diba? Masayang-masaya ka dito. Maraming mnemonics. Diba, Amanda? Hindi nag-react si Amanda. Alright. Now, medyo bastos si susunod. Kaya alam ko matutuwa si Arnie at si Mark. Okay? To a certain extent. Baka si Valiant din. Okay? To a certain extent. Alright? Naked DNA viruses, meaning they don't have envelopes. Okay? This includes your pap. Okay? Huwag mong kalimutan. A woman must be naked to have paps. To have a pap smear. Kailangan nakuhubad nga naman talaga ang babae. Kapag ka pagkakukunan mo ng pap smear, yun yung shortcut natin, PAP. Ano naman yung PAP na yan? Papova viride, adenoviridae, and parvoviridae. Okay? Clear? Diba? Ang bilis. Ang bilis natin pinagdaanan, no? Because majority of the questions that you're going to be asked in the board exams, okay? Masayang, masayang mnemonic. Charotera, ang haba na. Ang haba, ang tagal mo mag-reply, nakakainis ka. <laughs> gusto ko, gusto ko immediate ang response. Kahit smiley face man lang. Alright? Now, all DNA viruses are double-stranded except for parvoviruses. Okay? All DNA, strand, all, all DNA viruses are double-stranded except for parvoviruses. Siya lang ang nakakaya. I'm terribly sorry, Amanda. Wala akong maalalang ano. Okay? Wala akong maalalang mnemonic. So, you gotta remember it as is. Okay? So, bakit ito ang pinag-uusapan natin, sir? Kasi, sa exams ninyo, ganyan yung mga questions yan. All, DNA, all of the following are DNA viruses except for. All of the following are enveloped DNA viruses except for. Mga ganun talaga ang questions ninyo. Kaya, you need to remember these things. Okay? Memory work, mostly ang virology. Now, examples of DNA virus, envelope DNA virus, Okay. I'm ah, sorry. I think we went back. Terribly sorry. Um, this is the most complex. This is pox virus. The shape of the virus is box shape. Okay. Pox virus. Box shape. Okay. Um, examples of RNA viruses that are icosahedral in shape. Um, sorry. Icosahedral in shape. Retro, toga, flavi, picorna, calici, and retroviride. Okay. Wala akong mnemonic, um, Amanda. I'm sorry. Wala akong maiisip na mnemonic. You have to be, ano, you have to be, um, ano ba maganda? Um, retoka, retokada? <laughs> Yun yung nasa isip ko. Retokada, Rio virus, Toga virus, Calci virus. Diba? Retoka, retokada, retoka, retoka, retokafa na lang. Retokafa, retokafa. PI. Oh, ito kafa Pierre. Oh, ganun lang. Ito kafa Pierre. Oh, Reto kada Pierre. Oh, kung saan nagpaparito ko kayong mga babae sa Pierre na yun. O oh, diba? Uwiti talaga ni Sir. Diba? Ganun. Hindi ko alam kung matandaan nyo. Bahala ka sa buhay. Bahala ka sa buhay mo, Amanda. Kung maalala mo. Ha ha ha. Sabi ni Amanda. Alright. Now, um, this is, the, this is the only RNA virus that is double-stranded. So, kanina... Pox, uh, kanina, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, parvovirus is the only one that is, um, that is, um, single-stranded. Uh, yeah, all of them are DNA, uh, all of, all DNA viruses are double-stranded. Now, in cases of RNA viruses, the only one that, uh, that is not, uh, that, uh, the only one that is double-stranded is Riovirus. Okay? Riovirus. Okay? Now, they are members of the family Picornaviridae. So you gotta remember these things. Rhinovirus, poliovirus, hepavirus, enterovirus, and Coxsackie virus A and B. Okay? So kailangan ko maalala. Yes. I remember one question uh, according to my friend. They asked me about this. Picornaviridae family. Okay? So you gotta remember these things. Why is it important to know if a virus is an mRNA virus? Because it's important because the only viruses that are capable of replicating in the cytoplasm are mRNA viruses. Okay? mRNA viruses. That's the reason why. 
because um they just need to be translated they don't need to they don't need to inject the genetic material or i would say um incorporate the genetic material in the host's dna diba meron tayong mga viruses kasi na meron tayong mga viruses na kailangan pang ipasok yung genetic material doon sa uh, doon sa loob ng nuclear strand ng doon sa nucleic acid material ng host before it can replicate this one parang direct na siya parang um, i would consider it as a, oh nakita ni nakita ni virus si nakita ni mrna virus ang cell target cell niya masok yung dna and then imi ay yung uh, mrna virus and then the cytoplasm in within the cytoplasm it can already be translated to its copies na gets 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 kung bakit important malaman ng mrna viruses with other viruses with other forms of viruses now what are the families involved in the family Kalisi viridae? Norvok virus and Hepa E virus. Okay? Kailangan alalahanin? Yes. Now, viruses that are under the Flavi viridae family, um, this is your dengue virus and yellow fever virus. Chikungunya, dagdag na natin dyan. Alright? Are you, are you familiar with chikungunya? Alright? St. Louis St. Louis fever is also included there. Pero since you are taking the board exams in the Philippines, you need you need not be concerned about those things except for yellow fever virus and dengue virus. Chikungunya, dagdag mo na si chikungunya kasi may nakapasok dyan si chikungunya sa Pilipinas eh. Alright, members of the Toga Viridae family includes rubella and alpha viruses or the alpha virus groups. We're not going to discuss the alpha virus groups because they are not really relevant in our in medical virology. It's more or less animal virology, but we will try to um, we will try to talk about it later. Okay. Now, icosahedral viruses that are mRNA viruses are um, all all icosahedral RNA viruses are mRNA viruses except for two. Caliciviridae and retroviridae, specifically HIV and HTLV. Okay? So, RNA virus. Icosahedral RNA viruses. Okay? Clear? Clear so far? Clear, clear, clear so far? Okay. Tumatango si Nigel at saka si Mark Segi so we can continue on. Alright? Now, which icosahedral viruses, uh, RNA viruses, are enveloped? Um... Uh, uh, at which are naked um, Mahirap siyang aralahanin Paano ba natin? Paano ba ang mnemonic namin Nung last namin ng mga students? Flatter Pag finlatter ka meron, Bibigyan ka niya ng cover Bibigyan ka ng gifts And that particular gift is a covering O ayan na O diba? Oh, so, 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 hindi, hindi Pag naflatter ka ng, ng manliligaw mo Bibigyan ka niya ng love letter And yung love letter na yon Diba? Yung love letter na yon nasa envelope. Kaya, hindi mo makakalimutan na flatter. Bakit? FLTR. Ano yung FLTR? Flabby Viridae, Toga Viridae, and Retrovirus. O diba, Amanda? Talagang ginagawa ko yan para sa iyo. Doon sa iba kong lecture, wala. Dahil ikaw lang ang may kapal ng muka na magtanong sa akin kung ano, paano siya i-memorize. Okay? So, ganon. Okay? Ganon. Okay? Okay ba? Okay ba? Amanda? Amanda? Ha? Amanda ha, wag mo kalimutan si flatter. Okay? Si flatter. Or, pwede din naman, takpan mo na lang ang dede mo kung flat ka naman. ba? Flatter. ba? Ganon. ba? Ang dibdib mo, takpan mo na lang ng envelope kung wala kang dede. Okay? Ganon. Ah, ba? Ang witty talaga ni Sir Manuel. Nakakainis. Bakit hindi ko to alam ng estudyante ako? <laughs> Nahirapan ako dito ng estudyante ako. Alright? Yung mga naked naman, syempre, yun yung mga RNA viruses na hindi kasama sa flatter. So, ba? Mas madali siya maalala. Gets? ba? Diba, ba? Diba? Ganun lang yan. Mindset lang, guys. Ha? Mindset lang. Kung gusto mong pumasa, kailangan mong gawin lahat ng bagay. Now, there are eight viruses that are RNA, helical RNA viruses that are naked, uh, which are, and which is naked. So, among the eight, there's only one that's naked. Isa lang ang nakahubad. Okay? So, huwag kakalimutan yung Rhabdobiridae family, Orthomixo, Paramixo, Arenovirus, okay? Bunya virus, Philobiridae, and Lassa virus. O among, and coronavirus, of course. Okay? Huwag nyo kakalimutan si coronavirus, din ang galing si H1N1, at saka sino pa? Pinaka-important ngayon. Kayo talaga nakalimutan. Ano, huwag nyo sabihin, hindi nyo alam. 
So, kakaloka talaga kayo. <laughs> Pag hindi nyo alam si COVID, kapamilya na si COVID, ha? Nakakaloka kayo. Pag hindi nyo alam yan kung saan family na kabilong si COVID, masasampal ko kayo talaga. Kukulamin ko talaga. Sir Marco, pa- pakita mo sa akin yung ano, ha? Pakita mo sa akin kung hindi, sinong hindi makasagot ng corona. Oo naman, tatawa na natin yan together. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> O, hindi kasi kukulamin ko talaga siya. Tsaka ano, tsaka magtago ka ng isang strand ng buhok ha. Babarangin ko talaga. Okay? Nigel, alam mo 'yan. Pag mga galing sa mga lugar natin, 'di ba, mga mambabarang, 'di ba? Nigel, alam mo 'yan. Maiigit ka ng paulit-ulit. Hindi <laughs> matatapos ang pag-igit mo. Okay? So 'yon. Grab the very day para mix the virus. Paano natin maalala, maalala na naman, Sir Manuel? Ano na naman ba yan? Ang dami na naman alalahanin, Amanda. Nakakainis naman. Paano ma- maalala? Wrap of flak. Hindi ko alam kung paano nyo maalala. Bas, pero nung nag-aaral ako, ang shortcut ko sa kanya is raw pub flak. Yun yung ano ko eh. Yun yung, yun yung ano ko. Raw pub flak. Um, Robrabdo viruses, orthomixo, paramixo, arena virus, bunya virus, flabby virus, uh, sorry, filo virus, lasa virus, and the coronaviruses. And among them is our ASD naked one, which is coronavirus. So, lagi ko nilalagay sa dulo si coronavirus every time na nag-aaral ako para maalala ko na naked siya. Okay, so I'm giving, I'm not giving you the theoretical versions but test-taking tips ang binibigay ko sa inyo, ha? Bakit napansin nyo? Diba? Diba? The only virus, the only helical virus that has a particular shape, uh, RNA virus that is uh, that has a bullet shaped um, virion, is your rhabdovirus or rhabdoviridae family members. Okay, RNA viruses have three segments um, that have segments: orthoviruses, arena viruses, and bunya virus. Wag nyo kakalimutan sila yung mga merong segments. So wag nyo kakalimutan si Bowa. Okay. Segmented viruses yan. Boa. Ano yung boa? Bunya virus, which has three segments. Arena virus, which has two segments. And orthomyxoviridae. Siya yung pinakamahaba. So, siya yung may maraming eight. Uh, siya yung may eight segments. Orthomyxoviridae. Okay? Now, which virus causes infected cells to clump together to form a syncytia? Okay? What's syncytia? Clumps of cells lang siya. Okay? Um, paramyxoviridae. Okay? Under the paramyxoviridae family, you need to you must not forget measles virus, mumps virus, RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, okay? And of course, para influenza, okay? How do we get trans- how do we get infected by all of these? Sige nga. Mode of transmission. Mode of transmission, guys. Nako, nakalimutan na nila. Pag meron kang ano, pag meron pulga, ano nga, anong Tagalog term ng ano? Anong Tagalog term ng measles, Sir Marco? Nakalimutan ko. Anong yung Tagalog? Na? Tigdas. Tigdas, tigdas, tigdas. Sorry, tigdas. Tapos, mumps is beke, di ba? Tama ba? Mumps is beke. Beke, yes. Yeah. Not beke. Hindi yun. Ako yung beke, ha. Huwag yung kalimutan. <laughs> Alright. So, ano, pa, ano ang ano nila? Um, all of these things. Mode of transmission, wise. Come on, guys. Droplets, droplets. Okay, droplets. Okay, okay, okay. Mode of transmission is through droplets. Inhalation of droplets, to be specific. But thank you so much, guys. You understand what I am asking. Very good. Now, helical RNA viruses that have a singular, sing- circular genomic structure or genome structure is your Bunya virus family. Okay? Now, now that we talked about all the viruses that we're going to discuss one by one later, let's talk about them Let's talk about viruses, virus, viral physiology in general. Actually, it's not physiology, but we call it um, viral processes na lang. So, one of the viral processes that we're going to talk about is replication. The steps of viral replication is as follows. Adsorption, uncoating, synthesis, and release of virions. Okay? Adsorption and penetration, meaning papasok sa loob ng katawan, ay papasok sa um, didikit sa specific antigen target niya. Penetration, isulusot ang genetic material through the cytoplasm, okay? either through a carrier molecule or directly to itself if it's an RNA virus. Okay? Uncoating of the viral particle inside. So, kung naked siya, mag-uncoat pa yung 
it will rely on it will rely on enzymes to dissolve the envelope uh, the envelope layer and of course synthesis of viral products ito na yung tinatawag natin na RNA or DNA transcript uh, RNA and the, uh, the transcription process kasi nga na hijack na niya yung cell or na pirata na niya yung cell okay and afterwards it can either it can either produce the virions by exploding by causing an explosion of the virus the causing an explosion within the cell or isa-isang lalabas or sisirain niya yung sisirain lang niya pa isa-isa yung unti-unti yung cellular membrane ng cell na host niya okay clear so either pasasabugin niya or unti-unti niyang sisirain kasi meron tayong mga viruses na gamit gamit-gamit yung cell membrane, kaka kakainin yung konti ng cell membrane para may coat din siya sa sarili niya. So, may mga viruses tayong ganun. Okay? So, we're not going to delve deep into that because that is molecular biology, but our topic is more on virology. Okay? So, I'm more focused on the specific viruses. What brings about adsorption and penetration of the virions? Basically, it has something to do with the reception or the receptors or also known as spikes. So, the binding of the viral capsid to the host cells via the glycoprotein receptors. Yun yung pinag-usapan natin kanina. Or what we call spikes. The internalization of a viral particle into the host cell is done by what process? Scanned copy to. So, ibig sabihin, akin siya. Hindi natin kailangan, hindi natin kailangan mag-thank you. Okay? Scanned copy yan sa libro ko na binayaran ko. Hindi tayo madidemonetize dyan. Mark Segi. Okay? Let's talk about endocytosis first. Endocytosis is taking up of the cell. This is the first one. Okay? The viral particle is taken up by the cell. The viral particle then merges with the out outer layer of the cell. And the outer layer of the cell covers the whole cell, or sorry, covers the whole viral particle um, with, a, with, with the portions of the membrane. Now, fusion, in, on the other hand, is something a little bit different. The viral particle has similar has a similar structure with the host cells membrane or cells cell membrane and that will just fuse with the with the cell of the host that particular cover will then it, it will then eject the viral particle or the infectious particle into the cytoplasm so nakita niyo yung pinagkaiba ng endocytosis at fusion si fusion kukuha siya ng portion Si, ay sorry, si endocytosis kukuha siya ng portion. Si fusion, kukuha, um, kasama na sa kanya, ididikit, idadagdag pa niya yung cover niya. Gets? Madali lang maalala, no? Fusion and endocytosis. Okay? Clear? Now, what is the difference between positive and negative stranded RNA viruses in terms of replication? As I mentioned before, positive replication is, the, uh, is done uh, positive stranded uh, or viral um, replication is immediate. Okay? It is readily read by the translation molecule known as the mRNA. mRNA. Okay? Negative translation, uh, negative replication, negative viral replication requires RNA polymerase before it is read as MR, by the mRNA of the host cell. Okay? Clear? Clear ba? hindi siya direct. Kailangan may pagdadaanan pa siyang proseso. Okay? Clear? Now, let's move on to viral hijacking. After viral penetration, how can the genome of a DNA virus hijack the cells? The viral genome is spliced into the host cells. So, kakapit siya dun sa DNA. Hindi siya katulad ni RNA virus. Na dun lang siya, sa bahala ka dyan. Float, float lang ako pag nakita ko ng mRNA mo or may, may, may viral polymerase ka or mRNA polymerase ka, saka ako mag-replicate. Si, ang, viral genome ng, ang viral genome ng isang DNA virus, papasok talaga siya sa nucleus. Okay? Kasi kailangan siyang, mat, kailangan siyang ma-integrate or ma-splice. The term is spliced. Okay? Spliced is ibig sabihin yung parang hiniwa mo tapos ipinasok mo. Gets mo? Gets mo, Mark? Get mo, Nigel? Hiniwa mo ang isang portion ng, isa, ng DNA segment and then idinikit mo yung, cup, yung DNA niya para pag dumaan yung translator molecule, makakapi siya. Ganda ng kwarto ni Mark Segi, no, guys? Kakaingit, no? Kakaingit, ganda ng kwarto. 
All right. Now, what are the two phases of DNA DNA virus replication? So we we have what you call um, early transcription, which results to proteins of DNA repli uh, results to the translation of the proteins of DNA, and late transcription is the structural proteins of the virion is being assembled. Okay. So there's always results, early transcription and late transcription. This is basically the proteins or DNA replication of the virus is the end product of early translation. For late, trans uh, for late transcription, the translation of the structural proteins for virus, for virion assembly. So yun yung para magdikit-dikit na yung virus. Kasi parang um, nangyayari sa loob ng katawan natin during early transcription is that during early transcription is parang randomly lang nga gumagawa ng mga amino acid strands yan. During late transcription, doon pa lang nagagawa yung protein strands na magdidikit-dikit doon sa mga viral particles para magawa yung viral particle. Gets? Clear? Clear, clear, clear? Alright. Tinagalog ko siya para hindi kayo mahirapan. Huwag kayo mag-alala. Okay? Now, differentiate the release mechanisms of the following virions. A naked virion will undergo exocytosis. Okay? But an enveloped virion will undergo um, will undergo budding or clotting or clothing. Okay, so dadamitan. Okay, so that's the basically that's basically what happens. Okay. Now, another process another process that we need to get this to talk about is viral infection. Possible end results of viral infection could be one of the following. It could either result to cell death or cellular transformation via activation of oncogenes. Diba, meron tayong mga viruses that causes, that causes cancer. Bigay nga kayo ng isang example of a virus that can cause cancer. Nako, patay tayo. Nakalimutan nila. O, oh, ano na? Ano na? Give me a virus that causes cancer. Give me a virus that results to the activation of oncogenes which then results to a cancer. Oh, any, 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 a form of cancer. Any... Any answer? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hoy, nakalimutan nyo na. Wala, walang makasagot. Naku, patay tayo, Sir Marco. Naku. Oh, no. Papiloma virus. Ikaw. Wala. Ayan, Ako na, tok na yung makalang. <laughs> Okay, mag-alala, malapit na matapos. Pagka hindi naman natin natapos, bibigay ko sa inyo yan. And then you can just search for the videos in my YouTube channel. Pero hindi kayo makarelate doon kasi pinagtatawanan ko yung iba naming students. Pero huwag ka mag-alala. Huwag mag -alala. Most of the stuff that we discuss is already going to be the ones that you're going to ask, that they're going to be asking you. Huwag kayo mag-alala. Pinagtatawanan din namin kayo. Uh Oo. -oh. Right, so, EBV. <laughs> Epstein-Barr virus. Papilloma virus, HPV, oh, di ba? Ayun naman pala eh. May mga nakakasagot din naman pala eh. Oh, di ba? Oh. Very good. May nakalimutan ninyo, kaposi sarcoma. Oh, di ba? HIV. Di ba? Hepatitis B. Can cause, can activate ano. Kaya talaga nakalimutan nyo yung mga common. Yung mga, inahanap ninyo yung mga malalala. Yung mga genital warts talaga, mga kabastusan. Kaya talaga, puro mga genital warts sa mga pinag-uusapan natin, ha? This is a form of viral infection with no clinical manifestation in which the virus survives in a sleeping or inactive state but can be reactivated by several factors. This is known as the stage wherein you would call it a latent infection. Alright? Latent infection. So, give me an example of an organism, or sorry, an organism, a viral infection that can be reactivated. Mga may cold source dyan, herpes virus, di ba? Nananahimik lang yan. Diba? Diba, diba, diba? May mga nananahimik lang yan. Ano pa? Ano pang mga ano? Ano pang mga examples pa? Chicken pox. Diba? Chicken pox. It can present itself as chicken, po as chicken pox and then it can become shingles pag adult ka na. Diba? So see? This is the type of infection in which the virus can cause a disease years after the initial inoculation, chronic or slow infection, Okay, chronic or slow infection. So, for example, you have just one viral particle of it right now, and that viral particle will slowly, slowly but surely spread. Okay, slowly but surely. So, ano yun? Anong example nitong chronic and slow infection? Kakasabi ko lang kanina. Kanina sa myco mycology, we explained din natin sila. Sila yung mga patients na may HIV. Diba? 
unlike compare it to compare it to the incubation period of um let's say cold right after two days of being exposed to cold virus uh, to an infected uh, from to a patient who has cold vi who has a cold virus or suffering from a rhinite or uh, rhinovirus infection two days lang ang incubation period compared to hiv infections aids will not be considered uh, aids will not um aids will not have some sort of disease or will not occur ye uh, will not occur within the first one week right the disease will not occur within one week human immunodeficiency virus this or uh, acquired, uh, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome will not occur within this particular time within this particular uh, incubation period but as the years go by the number of t cells or t helper cells or cd4 positive cells become much more dimi become diminished as the years go by Umbaga, diba? so slow cro uh, chronic slow infection now Let's go one by one and with the my, with the viruses, starting with the letter A, the adenovirus S. What's the origin of the name of the adenoviruses? It is actually the organ it was first isolated in, the adenoids, right? May, but may history pa, sir. <laughs> Kasama may history. Nice to know lang yan, kayo talaga. Actually, nakakuha na natin lahat ng kailangan nating data to under to pass your virology exams okay you have a lot of it but this is just additional information that may impact your performance greatly if you did study these things now how many serotypes of adenoviruses are known is known or are known um 50 50 serotypes and only two of those are clinically important among the 50 there's only two that are clinically important nowadays i think um if i if you updated your if i i think i updated my lectures a couple of weeks ago when i was teaching a review class it's now up to 70 serotypes okay but uh, the only thing that you need to remember is that uh, there's only two adenovirus adenoviruses that are clinically important now what serotypes are clinically important to man specifically serotype 4 and 41 which can cause infantile gastroenteritis okay Infantile gastroenteritis. Next, we're going to talk about arena viruses. The arena viruses are clinically important. Um, that are clinically important under these is your Lassa virus and your LCM virus. All right, lymphocytic chronic my chorioaryngitis. Okay, the um, name, the etymology of the names is because it was found in the Lassa virus is found in Lassa, Nigeria, and LCM virus is because of the disease it causes lymphocytic choreo meningitis okay so this is an organism uh, this is a virus that can this is a virus or lcm is a virus that can actually cause problems with the cns next arena viruses are transmitted via zoonoses like rodents okay how do we get them contact with rodent excreta so Kung nakatira kayo sa isang bahay na maraming daga, there is a there is a rat infestation. Uh, mahilig sila kumain ng cereal, di ba? Social, for example. Pero may rat infestation ka naman pala. And then nakain mo yung, ano, nakain mo yung rat excreta, pwede kang makakuha ng arena virus. Alright? Now, differentiate arena viruses based on clinical presentation. Arena virus, um, the arena virus, um, Lassa, under the, uh, which is Lassa virus, causes um, hemorrhagic fever, similar to dengue fever. Okay, but LCM is quite different because it causes aseptic meningitis. What do you mean by aseptic meningitis, sir? Pag sinabing aseptic meningitis, hindi na activate si what? Hindi na activate yung neutrophils at saka monocytes. Ibig sabihin, it's not viral, it's not fungal, it's not parasitic, but what is affected is lymphocytes, lymphocytic choriomeningitis, okay? Or lymphotropic choriomeningitis, virus, LCM virus. Let's talk about Bunya viruses. The structure of the Bunya virus is the only virus that has a circular pattern. It's a helical, it has a, uh, it has a helical genome with a circular pattern. The origin of the the origin of the name of the Bunya, Bunya Viridae family is because of where its location of discovery, which is Bunya Muera, Uganda. 
Okay? Uganda! Di ba? Miss Universe. Uganda! Di ba? Mga ganun. Alright? Now, what are the two divisions of viruses under the Bunia viridae family? There are two divisions. They are arbovirus, arboviruses, and the non-arboviruses. Okay? What is an arbovirus? An arbovirus is an organism, or sorry, a virus rather, that can be transmitted by an insect. Okay? So that's it. Now, what are the members of arboviruses and, uh, in this case? We have the Californian encephalitis virus and the lacrosse virus. Okay? So, wala masyadong details about those things, but just for you guys, for your information. Okay? Now, what genus is under the non-arbovirus uh, um, non division of the Bunya viruses? It's the hantavirus. Okay? Hantavirus. Again, another African, African origin name. Okay? Now, the transmission of hantavirus is through the inhalation of aer aerosolized, uh, aerosolized virions from rodent excreta. Again, inhalation naman siya. So, yung kanina ay nakakain ka, yung sa arena virus kanina, nakakain ka ng pupu ng daga. Ngayon naman, ito na inhale mo yung aerosolized um, virions. Okay? Now, the virus under the hantavirus genus which causes hemorrhagic and kidney disease is the sinhombre virus or the sinhombre virus. Okay? Very Mexican, I know. Right? And we're going to move on with the next one, Khaleesi viruses. Wala siyang kinalaman sa Game of Thrones, hindi Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea. It's actually Khaleesi viruses. Okay? The viruses under the Khaleesi viridae family is the Norvok virus and the hepatitis E virus. Okay? Norvok virus is the low, the origin of the name is because it was found in Norfolk, Ohio, in the United States. That's basically it. Um, and uh, HEV, we're going to talk about HEV. It was reclassified under the genus Hepadnaviridae, or Hepeviridae, sorry. Hepeviridae. It has, it's now known as hepe, Hepevirus, or H, H, HEV virus. It, it's its own vi viral family now. Now, um, which virus has the same clinical uh, has the same clinical presentation as HEV? It is hepatitis A. However, HEV is more fatal in pregnant women. Kaya nga isa sa mga isa sa mga test natin para sa mga babae is para malaman kung may HEV sila. Ay, para malaman yung may HEV sila. Madaming pinapatest di ba sa mga babae? May torch tayo included dun sa torch yung HEV. Okay, clear? Let's talk about um, the transmission of Kalisiviridae, Kalisiviruses. Kalisiviruses are transmitted via fecal oral transmission. Again, pagka meron kang mga nakain ng mga contaminated foods, hindi lang tayo bakti hindi lang bacteria ang pagpo-problemahin natin, hindi lang fungus, hindi lang hindi lang parasites, meron ding viruses, kumpleto na talaga. So sana hindi na lang ako kumain, sir. Sana hindi na lang ako nakinig sa, lect sa lecture na to. Di ba? Diba, diba? Now, let's talk about coronaviruses. The coronaviruses, the origin of the name, is because upon electron microscopy, the uh, structure of the the structure of the surface has a crown-like uh, has a crown-like appearance. Okay. Um, coronavirus is the agent of the common colds, and uh, it's endemic. Uh, it's most it's most recent endemic. I created this, I think, in two thousand fifteen. Um, I started creating this lecture series in 2015 and the only endemic, uh, so the only epidemic back then was SARS. But now, we have what? We have MERSCOV na. So you have to add, guys, ha? you have to add M MERSCOV. Okay? What else? COVID-19. Okay? Alright? Huwag niyo kakalimutan yung mga yan, Okay? Okay? So, 2015 pa siya nung ginawa ko. Eh. Uso-uso doon yung, di ba, kaya nga na-discriminate yung, kaya nga na-uso yung Asian hate. Kasi, la, kasi lahat ng nanggagaling sa lugar natin dyan sa Asia, Southeast Asia, sa Central Asia, like in China, like in China and Mongolia, uh, everybody hated, uh, uh, European countries and American countries hated us or started hating us because of SARS. So, yun, yun, yun. Anong ibig sabihin ng SARS pala? Bago tayo mag-umpisa, bago tayo magtuloy. <laughs> Tignan natin, Sir Marco, kung sino nakakalala kung ano ibig sabihin ng SARS. 
<laughs> Patay tayo. <laughs> Nag-google na si ano. <laughs> Nag-google na si Mark Segi. <laughs> Nakita ako sa camera. <laughs> ano ibig sabihin na SARS? Elis, ano, ano, ano basa mo sa Google mo? Sige na Mark. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Very good. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Now, the best way to demonstrate um, coronaviruses is through electron microscopy. Okay? That's the only way. Uh, obviously, I think majority of the viruses that we're going to talk about is through, uh, if we're going to look at their morphology, it's difficult unless you have a, you have an electron microscope. Okay? All right. Anything, any type of electron microscope will do. It could be the two D one or it could be the three D one. Doesn't matter as long as it's a three. It's as long as it's an electron microscope. Now, pyloviruses are another one that you need to remember. Um, the members of these viruses are um the Marburg virus and the Ebola virus. Okay, Ebola is another recent. Uh, there is another recent outbreak in I think Central Africa. Okay, I think two thousand seventeen. If you're going to take the exams, if you're going to take the exams um, in an international level, they are going to ask you about these two types of organisms, uh, these two types of viruses. Kanina pa ako tawag ng tawag ng organisms sa mga virus, no? Um, these, ty these viruses, okay? So, ano ba usually ang tinatanong nila? Well, these are the things that you, usually, you need to remember. It is the most fatal virus with 90% fatality rate. With a 90% fatality rate, okay? Ano ba klase, ano ba klase ng, ano ba mangyayari sa iyo? Pag-usapan muna natin yung ano niya muna. Origin pala of the name. Filoviruses are known are named as such because of the thread-like structure or the morphology. Diba? Now, how are they transmitted? Contact with body fluids or inhalation of respiratory droplets. Okay? Um, contact with body fluids. Inhalation of respiratory droplets. The reservoir host of filoviruses are monkeys. Okay? So, monkeys. So you you would be surprised kung paano nakuha ng mga tao ang monkeys and I would direct you to a YouTube video on how Ebola virus came to be in the human into into human name into human existence or human infections okay medyo medyo ano siya graphic and hindi siya hindi siya mo, ano hindi siya appropriate for your age group okay now Flabby viruses, uh, or the origin of the flabby viruses family is because of the symptoms that it produces. Flavus. Yung mga tao na nagkaroon ng, nagkaroon ng infection na ganito, nagiging yellow. Because of the jaundice. Okay? Flavus. Kaya nga, di ba, meron tayong flabby bacterium? Di ba? Okay? Now, they are, they, are, they are arboviruses also. Okay? They are arboviruses. And therefore, they... Uh, and therefore, uh, therefore, they are transmitted by a uh, host, uh, uh, sorry, an intermediate host or rather um, a reservoir host. Okay, so yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile fever, St. Louis encephalitis is another example. Para. Okay, viruses under the Flaviviridae family that is non-arbovirus uh, non or not arbovirus is hepatitis C. Okay, so nakita nyo bakit nagiging flabby ka? Kasi nga, meron kang jaundice. Karamihan sa kanila nagkakaroon ng liver failure. Dengue fever, yes, in its later stages, yes, you can turn uh, you can turn yellow also. But you don't want to you don't want to turn yellow during the whole onset of the disease naman siguro because if that is the case, you're about to die na. All right? Now, which virus under the Flaviviridae family is known as the Great Plague of the Panama Canal? This is known as the yellow fever virus. It lasted for 2 years. So, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, class, yung coronavirus natin pwede pang magtagal. Diba? It could take years. What is the reservoir host for the Great Plague of the Panama Canal? It is the monkeys. Again, monkeys again. Vector, vectors of these viruses are mosquitoes. How many zero groups of dengue virus is known? There are four. Of course, um, the antigenic, uh, the unique immune um, characteristics of the dengue virus is that they do not render a person immune. Okay? If you got infected to one serotype, you are not considered immune to the other three serotypes. Kaya pwede ka pa rin magkaroon ng dengue. That is a wrong, uh, there's a wrong, 
uh, a misconception rather there's a misconception in in our country that if you got infected with dengue you already you can already uh, you no long you're already immune no that's not the case because there are four serotypes means that there are still there are still three chances means that pa pang fifth pa eh okay wag niyo kalimutan yun. now what are the two serological tests available for the detection of dengue fever dengue ns1 or dengue vi dengue antigen 1 this requires gold Conjugate, medyo mahal siya, but it's the most rapid and um, compared to dengue blot, it is mostly, it is most, most specific. Dengue blot or DRT detects antibodies, IgM or IgG. It's not very specific as compared to dengue NS1 because dengue NS1 detects the actual viral antigens. Yun lagi ang tatandaan nyo, direct and indirect. Okay. Now, DRT pala is, uh, DRT stands for, DRT here stands for Dengue Rapid Test, okay, DRT. And uh, let's talk about the reservoir host for Nile, uh, West Nile virus. West Nile virus is transmitted to humans by birds. I'm ah, sorry, uh, is, is carried by birds, but it is transmitted to humans by bridge mosquitoes, okay? Now, HCV is transmitted to humans. Via, by uh, to humans by humans via parenteral route and uh, and the reason being uh, the reason being why it is important in this discussion especially in serology and blood banking is because they are the ones that is transmitted via injections okay via injections okay so yung mga iv drug users yung mga ganun. now how is hcv screened we stay we use antibody detection and we confirm with RT-PCR. Okay? What is RT-PCR? Reverse transcriptase, polymerase chain reaction. Okay? Now, quantitati quantitation of HCV is useful in what? Is useful, is useful in determining the extent of viremia. Okay? Bakit important? Kasi it means that uh, it determines whether or not the patient can survive or the patient can be highly infectious. Okay? That's the importance of um, HCV, uh, HCV quantitation. Now, what is the purpose of using HCV genotype? It's used in the detection of strains that do not respond to therapy. Meron kasing mga resistant strain na pag ginamitan mo ng antivirals ng HCV and to HCV, hindi nakakasurvive. Nakaka okay? Now, um, oh, we are, uh, no, we are over time na pala. Um, by one minute. Can I ask for 10 minutes? Is it okay? Mark. Can I ask for 10 minutes? Nakasara na yun. Nakaganyan naka, naka na si Mark. Kinaandok na si Mark. 10 minutes lang. <laughs> okay lang po siguro. Alright. Okay, now, hepa, may extra, okay, late ako pumasok sa inyo kanina, ha? May 15 minutes late, 15 minutes late ako kanina. Bawiin lang natin. Diba, Nigel? Okay lang. Alright. Alright, now, Hepatna Viride is, uh, na, the origin of the name is basically a combination of the name, uh, the combination of the disease and the type of virus it is. Hepatna is, uh, is a play between Hepa, DNA, Hepatna Viride. That's the origin of the name. Um... The virus is associated. Uh, the virus associated with this family of viruses is hepatitis B, B, okay, as in hepatitis bacula, okay. The virus is associated with a co-infection with H, P, uh, H B, uh, hepatitis H V B, H V D. Sorry, pala H hepatitis D, H D V. Sorry, nalito ako. H D V, okay. Or hepatitis D. Lagi siyang may co-infection. If you see terminologies like this, it means that, it means that uh, they, you need to remember these things. Okay? Now, the term used for the infectious particle for hepatitis B is known as the Dane particle. Another term that you may be familiar with is the Australian antigen. But that's not really used nowadays. Um, we go on to the next one, which is the herpes viridae family. There are eight members that is associated to 
Um, there are eight viruses under this family that's associated to human infection. Huwag na natin masyadong alalahanin yan. Ang kailangan nyo lang alalahanin, HSV1, HSV2, and VZV, CMV, and EBV. Okay? Be mindful of those things. General characteristics of vi the viruses under the hepatitis B family is that they are capable of latent infection or herpiviridae family pala. They are capable of latent infections. They have what you call a cytopathic effect. And they are, uh, they cause an immune response known as a cell-mediated Im immune response. Okay? Now, a cytopathic effect is expected in cases of this particular subgroup, the alpha subgroup. Okay? The members of those, uh, the viruses under this particular subgroup is HSV1, 2, and VZV. What is VZV? Varicella zoster virus. Okay? Varicella zoster virus. Now, genital infections that are associated with HSV1 and 2 is known as herpes labialis and herpetic whitlow. Okay? And there is a latency site for HSV1 and HSV2, which is basically the sensory nerve ganglia. Doon siya tumatambay. Sensory nerve ganglia. Um, when you get uh, when you get immunocompromised, the virus will then spread outside the sensory nerve ganglia. Okay? So yun yung pabalik-balik na herpes infection. Okay? Yung manghina ka lang ng konti or yung immune system mo, babalik ulit siya. Now, possible clinical conditions associated with HSV-1 is gingival, gingival stomatitis, herpetic keratitis, and encephalitis. Transcribe VCV. As I mentioned before, it is varicella zoster virus, and the disease cause is chickenpox or shingles. Okay, varicella is responsible for chickenpox in young people, zoster in their adult life. Latency of VZB is on the dorsal root glang ganglia. Please be mindful of the sensory nerve ganglia for HSB1 and HSB2. Dorsal nerve ganglia is the latency site for VSV. Okay? Be mindful of these things. Okay? What is the characteristic shape of the vesicles produced by chicken pox? They have, they have that what you call they have what you call a rose petal with dew drops. Kasi reddish siya talaga, tapos parang may tubig-tubig. Okay? Or dewdrops ba? I think in Tagalog, this is known as habog. Okay? And uh, the difference between chicken pox and sing in shingles in terms of clinical correlation is that in chicken pox, uh, clinical presentation rather, is that chicken pox have a disseminated lesion. So starting from starting from the body out to outward. Okay? For shingles, it's a localized lesion. Okay? Now, let's talk about EBV, Epstein-Barr virus. It is the causative agent of infectious mononucleosis, which is also known as the other term, for the other term, kissing disease. Okay? Now, the form of, um, the form of uh, immune, uh, what form of immune infectious mononucleosis is caused by EBV in HIV-infected pa infected patients? It's known as oral uh, oral hairy leukoplakia. Okay, so may hairy may form of um, hairy cell leukemia, but it starts with the it starts from the mouth. Okay, kaya nga kising disease siya. So HIV infected ka na nakakuha ka pa ng immune ng infectious mononucleosis, o di ba? Bonggang bongga ka talaga kasi that's the reason why I want you guys to be not sexually active. Okay, hirap baka ba may double infections. All right, now. Oncogenic conditions associated with EBV is nasopharyngeal carcinoma or Burkitt's lymphoma. Please take note of Burkitt's lymphoma because this is going to be a question that may be asked in your hematology examinations. All right. Next, latency site of EBV is where is the B lymphocytes. Doon sila tumatambay. Would you believe it? Tatambay din sila sa loob ng B lymphocytes, di ba? Nakaiba. Akala ko sa dorsal root ganglia lang, mga ganun-ganun lang. No. Now, the B-cell receptor, uh, B-cell receptor that binds to the EBV virus is your CD3D receptors. Okay? CD3D receptors. Specific receptor. How is EBV infections, trans how does an EBV transfe infection transform to a malignant form 
Well, this is what basically happens. The cell gets infected. The virus is internalized and the cell undergoes transformation. The cell proliferates and EBV genes pass to, tro to progeny cells. The progeny cells with EBV DNA remains in the latent stage until reactivation. And, that re and, that, uh, and in that process, the virus facilitates the mutation of the cells. Okay? Thus, the oncogenes become activated. The cell proliferation actually. Okay? So, parang namumutate siya. Now, what is the antibody present in patients with infectious mononucleosis? Please don't forget that they will have heterophilic antibodies or heterophile antibodies. Its characteristic is that it is capable of cross-reacting with sheep RBC. Okay? What is the rapid screening test for heterophile antibodies? This is known as monospot test. The confirmatory test is, of course, Davidson differential, which we will not discuss here in your discussion, uh, here in our discussions here. Okay? Transcribe CMV. CMV is the cytomegalovirus, and the disease caused by this one is heterophile negative infectious mononucleosis. Okay? Heterophile negative infectious mononucleosis. There are four infectious states associated with CMV. This is uh, asymptomatic CMV, congenital CMV, CMV mononucleosis, and CMV reactivation. So again, uh, it is capable of being reactivated. Now, there are two populations who are at risk for the transmission of CMV. These are patients with, patients with bone marrow transplants and patients with HIV or AIDS. Sorry, AIDS patients. Okay? The case presentation is different in terms of symptomology. CMV pneumonitis is expected from patients with blood transfusions or bone marrow transplants. But for AIDS patients, it's usually CMV retinitis. Okay? It goes to the eyes for AIDS patients. Now, patients require CMV blood cultures are as follows. The two ones that we discussed previously, AIDS and bone marrow transplant, and of course, patients with organ transplant rejection. The, be the best specimen of choice or the best specimen that we would use is the Buffy coat. Okay? And I think that wraps it up. That's already 10 minutes. Um, I want you guys to keep on reading on the other ones. Um... Again, it's not very, it's not really uh, important that you remember the names or where it came from. What I want you guys to remember is the last portion. Where is it? Something to do with laboratory, laboratory, laboratory detection. This one. Don't worry, I will make another video to help you guys out. Okay, magalala. Let me just look for the ones that you need to remember. Uh, see, a whole discussion about HIV. And. Ang dami. Ang dami, sir. Ano ba yan? May, may ano pa? May rabies virus pa? Ito. Ito ang pinaka-important na kailangan nyo nandadaan. The virology laboratory. Okay? So please be mindful of the temperature, specimen collections. Everything is here also. This will be asked in the exams for you guys. So be mindful of this one. This is one of the most important things that you need to remember. Especially nowadays that the practice of medical technology is leaning towards um, molecular biology. Okay? So yun. Yun yung kailangan yung alalanin. But don't worry, I will, make, uh, I will make necessary preparations for you guys so that you will have all the lectures you have, that you will have all the lectures uh, compiled together in a playlist that I will prepare for you guys. So, talagang hindi, talagang walang chance na hindi may ma-miss out tayo. Okay? Okay ba yan? And that's it. This is basically the last, uh, the last meeting that I will have with you guys. Hopefully, hindi ko na kayo makita. Pag nag-lecture ulit ako sa CMCC, Sir Marco, no? Pag nakita ko kayo, ibig sabihin, alam na this. Okay? Well, eh, eh. <laughs> Diba? Alam na this, diba? Basta ang alam ko, si Nigel Berongoy, siya ang chosen one ko. Diba? 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 Okay? So, anything that you would ask me before we go? Before before I go? Pala. Wala, 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 wala. Antok na. Wala, wala. Maski personal, you can ask me personal questions. Kasi diba meron tayong open forum at the end every every discussion, Sir Marco? You can ask me stuff. Huwag kayong mag-alala. No holds bar. Di ba? Ganon. No holds bar. Pero may mga ganun pang kemis si Sir Manuel. Alright. Wala? Walang question? Alright. Mag-class picture.